Hey guys, David here. Very welcome to another video. I'm talking about meditation. Now this is a few tips here for complete beginners in this really. Um, but you know, if you've been meditating for a few years, um, this is very useful because this is what a lot of people say, you know, they've been meditating for a long, long time and they're not seeing any progress. Okay, now I'm going to talk about that, the problematic nature of that term even when it comes to meditation. But I've written here, meditation, watch the resistance. Okay, watch the resistance. In fact, if you understand what I mean by this, you'll understand that meditation is the simplest thing in the world and actually the most, one of the most profound and useful things you can do in your life. And it's easy to do. It's not complicated. You don't need to sit in a pose or a posture or you don't need to wear special clothes or have candles, scented candles, any of those things. It's so, so simple and so useful. It really is. And what do I mean by watch the resistance? One of the things we have is when we're doing meditation, and I mentioned this in a previous video, we are trying to achieve something. Now that trying to achieve is the entire problem with meditation. There is nothing to achieve. You can't do it badly because you can't do it properly, okay? In fact, any efforts we bring into it to achieve something uh, is the problem with this. Now, what do I mean by that? Because what we, what we want to achieve, we're all looking for a certain feeling we get from meditation, right? We're all looking to feel more peaceful and we're all looking to feel happier maybe, right? Now that is effort. What we're actually going to do in meditation, what I suggest that you try, and I've had huge, huge, uh, again, I don't want to use the word success, but you know, it has, I've, what I have had is a genuine experience, genuine sense of that's real for me, that's true. And as a byproduct of that, yes, it has made me more calm and relaxed, but that wasn't the goal of it. What we do in meditation, what I suggest you do is bring your awareness into your body. And you can even try this now if you like. Wherever you are, don't even try to relax. Just let your body fall where it is. Um, maybe you're on a bed or maybe <clears throat> you're uh, in a chair. You can close your eyes if you like. But all you're doing is you're just going to bring your awareness into your body, inside. And very simply, drop any effort. And what you're doing is start to notice while you're there for a while is there any part of me that doesn't want to do this is there a part of me that wants to do something else instead a part of me that wants to go online browse social media watch a movie do anything And what we normally do with that is we think that that's wrong. We think that that's bad. And uh, if I feel like this, I'm not meditating properly. All we're doing here is watching that resistance. You are coming face to face here with your impulse to react to something else. I and mean, that something else is the feelings that are resting within you as you sit here and try this meditation. So allow yourself to be resistant. And as soon as you are aware of that impulse to do something else, maybe for me to stop talking or for me to speed up or something to change, that's complete success. You're not trying to get rid of that part of yourself. There's no need to get rid of that part of yourself. What you can do is start to explore for any feelings that are there. Is there any feeling of dissatisfaction within me right now? Any sense of loneliness or sadness, disappointment, anger? And without trying to change whatever feeling rests there, and that could be emptiness, could be a lack of emotion, 
any emptiness. That emptiness may be resting under other emotions. It's not to change them. It's just to be with them. Just to accept them as they present themselves within you right here for a few moments. Not to push them away. Not to try and change them into a different emotion. Just to allow yourself to feel exactly the way you feel right now. To breathe. If you notice yourself getting any way overwhelmed. And allow yourself to be overwhelmed. So, as you do that, you may notice yourself starting to feel a little bit calmer, a little bit more accepting of what's going on within yourself. To notice that fixer, that impulse to change and to react from that emotion that's there. So I'm going to keep this short, guys. And when you're ready, if you've tried this meditation, you're in this meditation, just to start to gently, gradually move and uh, maybe stretch if you need to. Bring your awareness back into your surroundings. And that's a meditation. That's all it is. And it's the, the, the benefits of this are not only that hopefully you feel maybe a little bit more relaxed now, although that wasn't the agenda. That's the paradox of change. Whenever you accept what's there, it transcends. We move into something else. Watch the resistance. You don't have to be a good meditator. The point is that none of us are good meditators. It's just to accept that the resistance is there. Don't see this as something that you have to do every day or to tick off your to-do list. Uh, well, I'm a very good meditator because I'm doing it regularly now. It's just very simply, whenever you want to do this, you just close your eyes for a few moments, bring your awareness inward, and work on not having an agenda for those few moments. You can have the agenda outside of that time in our in our day-to-day -day life, and we do, of course. But we're trying to become aware of the emotions that are compelling us, or maybe f making us feel like we're rushed all the time, okay? So over time, um, again, not to see it as a, something on your to-do list or uh, something to master, because you can't master an emotion, absolutely, in no way. You can work on feeling the emotions that's the point not feeling better but just feeling so um, that is meditation it's not any more complicated than that and uh, if you agree with that or do you disagree with that you can let me know but I hope this video was helpful to you and uh, you can contact me on my website drdavidmurray.com if you would like to talk to me and thanks for watching the video guys and I'll see you in the next one take care